The friends of the Alexander Young Building say they have delivered to Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company petitions bearing 10,000 signatures calling for the company to retain and restore the 77-year-old Bishop Street landmark. We know our building needs a facelift. The respiratory system, the air conditioners need repair. The excretory system, if you will, the plumbing needs help. But just because the building is old, it does not have to be destroyed for something new and better. New is not necessarily better. We want to help the owners of the AYB to make an informed decision. Northwestern Mutual has applied for a demolition permit, but a company spokesman says no decision has been made on whether to tear down the six-story building and replace it or to spend up to $20 million on restoration. An architect consultant to the demolition opponents says the figures may not be accurate. We don't believe so. We, th we believe they're using different numbers right now. Uh, there is uh, a disparity between our numbers and their numbers, and we are um, trying to work with them to show them that our numbers, as far as renovation goes, are, are more accurate. Um, it's our understanding right now that they're using the same cost for construction for both renovation and new construction, which is not um, our experience. Northwestern Mutual's candidate for a replacement, if that is the decision, would be this 29-story, $45 million tower and a park. I personally do not feel that it's a good urban design solution. Uh, the um, Tower of Glass, I don't feel is appropriate in that location. Uh, I would much prefer to see the Alexander Young building. With regard to the park, I think the park is a, almost a motherhood issue. That, who can say the park is bad in the middle of Honolulu? Right now, our um, accepted urban design plan for downtown Honolulu um, designates the capital district as the park-like setting for Honolulu rather than the urban core. Uh, we feel, or I feel quite, a, that the Alexander Young Building is a much better urban design solution for Bishop Street rather than a park. Northwestern Mutual has promised a decision by the end of the year. The friends of the Alexander Young Building have hired a consultant to do a comprehensive architectural and economic feasibility study to convince the company that restoration is the best decision. Don Baker, KGMB News. Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, which owns the 77-year-old building, plans to tear it down and replace it with a high-rise office building and a mini park like this model. Tenants of the Bishop Street landmark have already begun vacating the building, and it is to be empty by the end of June. The building was placed on the national and state registries of historic sites last year, and a group called the Voices of the Pacific is trying to get the state to acquire the building to save it. The group's attorney argued today before Judge Watkatsuki that the Department of Land and Natural Resources erred in not requiring an environmental impact statement prior to demolition. The DLNR's attorney argued that the state is only required to collect data on the building and then decide to condemn and purchase or let the demolition continue. In this case, there is a voluminous amount of information about the Alexander Young Building. The DLNR has that information. There's nothing really more they can collect to preserve Hawaiian history. That's the statutory command. So then the department is left with two choices, either let them go ahead and demolish it or condemn the building. So the, the real question is, is there $20 million available to go out and condemn this building? The attorney for the Voices of the Pacific says lack of funds should not be an issue. The state's arguing that we can't purchase the money out of our historic sites fund. Our historic sites fund is limited to $500,000 or something like that. And the governor's contingency fund is another 100000 both of which are just about exhausted. We're not talking about buying a, a building for purposes of letting it sit as an historic site. We're talking about preserving an historic site and using it as state office space. Or if the state doesn't need it at this point in time, the state take over land ownership of it and be a landlord for a period of time. The intervener will tell you that they're making money right now until such time as the state can afford to buy the building. I'm just amazed that they can spend $100 million to build new buildings and don't want to take $20 million to preserve an old one. Judge Watkinsuki did not indicate when he would rule, but both sides indicated the decision would probably be appealed. Don Baker, KGMB News. Light fixtures that once were part of the building. A demolition sale going on now at the Bishop Street site is offering buyers those things and more. We have a, a variety of the old and the new, some new fixtures from the building, uh, things that have been replaced over the last three or four years. Also, uh, a lot of things that were in the building for the last, ever since it was built. Chairs and tables and things of that sort that have been 
left behind as the tenants move on to their new places or retire. Uh, quite a bit of carpet, uh, hallway carpet, large areas of carpet, and room, individual room carpets. Uh, are, are there items for sale that uh, you probably wouldn't be able to find anywhere else because of the building's age? There, there are a lot of things in the building that uh, definitely date the building. Things like marble sinks and, and uh, some of your taller hardwood doors are with unique hardware and the brass mail slots and that type of thing that are, are definitely part of this building. The Alexander Young Building is closing its doors this Tuesday after the last tenants move out. The demolition sale will continue through next Friday. Tina Shelton, KGMB News. The Anti-Hunger Coalition will become an advocacy group, a, uh, a coordinating kind of uh, group with a board of directors and a, and a small staff. And they will coordinate the efforts of a food bank, of a statewide food bank in Hawaii. And the, the actual food distribution will be carried out by existing private agencies and church groups. Uh, but we're hoping that the food would then be d donated by wholesalers and retailers to those uh, church groups and private agencies. restraining order signed by Justice Menor and I had to disturb him at dinner. He was having dinner in Waikiki and uh, he was gracious enough to uh, sign the temporary restraining order and allow uh, at least until noon tomorrow until uh, they'll determine the fate of the AYB. I have never seen in my life a restraining order come at the moment the ball was hitting the building. I mean, did you oh, believe you. that you were going to get here on time tonight? I didn't know. I was just casting my fate to the wind and praying a lot. The Alexander Young took several direct hits last night before the cavalry arrived in the form of a temporary restraining order issued by Justice Benjamin Menor of the Hawaii Supreme Court. The man with the order is Dr. Norman Goldstein a former tenant of the Alexander Young. The order was obtained by opponents of the demolition to give the court time to decide whether the issue of demolition versus preservation should be heard on appeal. The members of the Hawaii Supreme Court conferred on the matter this morning. Shortly before noon, Chief Justice William Richardson issued a two-page order in behalf of the full court, indicating there was no violation of state law involved, thus there was no legal reason to halt demolition any longer. So the Alexander Young will come down. Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company owns the 77-year-old building. It plans to construct a 29-story office building and a three-quarter acre public park on the downtown Honolulu site. Opponents of the plan say state law requires that an environmental impact statement be done. The circuit court and now the Supreme Court have disagreed with that contention. The reason for tearing down the building is simple economics. Northwestern says the Alexander Young brought in about $800,000 last year. The new building is expected to bring in nearly $4 million a year. Demolition is expected to be done at night, for the most part, to minimize inconvenience to the public. The new building is scheduled for completion by the end of 1983. Bart Frito, KGMB News.